Registered Phenomena Code 245 Object Class Alpha Yellow Hazard Types Sensory Hazard Organic Hazard Aquatic Hazard Sentient Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-245 is to be kept in the Aquatic Containment Wing at Site-095, Containment Wing at Site-008, isolated inside a fish tank with dimensions of at least 2.5 meters in width and 50 centimeters in height. The tank must be equipped with a filter, lights, refrigeration unit, aerator, natural gravel, and optionally fish tank decorations. The fish tank is to be placed on a metal table with wheels to make relocating RPC-245 more efficient. The tank itself must be locked inside a room ranging from 5 by 5 meters to 10 by 10 meters. Due to the valuable nature of RPC-245, at least one guard must be stationed outside the containment chamber at all times. The door entering RPC-245's containment chamber must be heavily reinforced, preferably using steel to prevent trespassing into the chamber. The tank must be cleaned at least once a week, and RPC-245 fed by trusted authority personnel. Upon cleaning the tank or feeding of RPC-245, custodial personnel must be sterilized completely to avoid the effects of RPC-245. It is very important that when the water inside RPC-245's tank is being filtered, it is also being sterilized to contain the effects of RPC-245. The maintenance union has deemed the use of mild chlorine to be the most efficient way of cleaning any bacteria in the water. Only authority personnel with at least level 4 access, or explicit permission from that level of authority, are permitted inside of RPC-245's containment chamber. Description: RPC-245 is very similar appearance to an Atlantic salmon of above average size and weight at 93 cm in length and weighing 6.6 .6 kg. RPC-245 has an intense silver glare surrounding most of its body except the head and fins. An experimentation team was able to determine the age of the subject by counting the various annuli, making the subject years of age, far above the average lifespan of a regular Atlantic salmon. A series of concentric rings, formed in the scales of fish. Upon consumption of the oil secreted by RPC-245, subjects would gradually show signs of immense intelligence. During experimentation, CSD personnel could solve mathematical problems that would seem impossible before, and discuss philosophy and scientific theory with little cognitive effort. With a small dosage of about 10 milliliters of the bacteria oils, a subject's IQ would raise up to the 200 to 260 range, with varying results. However, a subject with a mental disability and with an IQ of about 70 to 80 will experience little change in comparison, with the highest recorded being a 190. In various tests, CSD personnel were fed 100 milliliters of RPC-245 oil over the course of a week. The effects of RPC-245 became more negative as the subject's IQ would grow to the 400 range. While initially the subject would become disproportionately intelligent, the subject would also experience extreme cases of depression. 10% of subjects grew bipolar disorder only two weeks after the initial dosage. One month after the large dosage, a brain scan was used on the CSD personnel involved in the test. Various stage 4 tumors were found embedded in the subject's brain. Due to the extreme severity of the cancer, the subjects passed only weeks after the tumors were discovered. Biological tests have shown that every part of RPC-245 shares the same bacterial substance which allows for a human's intelligence to grow. This means that any part of RPC-245 could be consumed with the same effects. However, to conserve the life of RPC-245, only the oil should be consumed. The source of the bacteria is currently unknown. However, 
It's intriguing that this bacteria can live in such varied biological environments without extensive adaptation, such as the nervous system, vital organs, the bloodstream, and the muscle fibers. It is currently unknown if RPC-245 affects animals, or even other anomalous entities. Further testing is required. It is also unknown if there are any offspring of RPC-245. However, there have been no sightings since the first retrieval effort. Recovery Log RPC-245 was first discovered in the province of Ireland on the after locals began telling stories of a fish that would bestow great wisdom upon those who ate it. Upon further investigation, it was caught by authority personnel in the river in after one member saw a bright shimmering in the water. RPC-245 was then transferred to Site-095. Addendum Due to the beneficial effects of RPC-245, the subject has been transferred to Site-008 to treat patients who may have undergone cognitive damages. However, constant transfers are expected between sites for further testing on RPC-245. Test Log 1 Subject CSD-1322 Size of dosage 100 ml Time after initial dosage 2 weeks Estimated IQ Greater than 400 Results The subject sat on his bunk for hours and was completely still. Often the subject would mumble to himself, What's the point? There is none. At about PM the subject began banging his forehead into the concrete wall beside the cell door. During this time, the subject began screaming several different lines at different intervals. One such being, I don't know why, I don't know why, and another being, it doesn't make sense. This continued for one hour before authority security had to step into the subject's cell. The subject attempted to grab one of the officer's shotguns before shooting himself in the mouth. Test Log 2 Subject CSD-9480 Size of dosage 10 ml Time after initial dosage 1 week Estimated IQ Greater than 160 Results Predating the initial dosage, the subject suffered from a common intellectual disability. After the dosage, the subject became more invigorated and even grateful to the authority for curing him of his illness. The subject requested various books and literature to study for himself after realizing the effects of RPC-245, and finished the books within hours. The subject seems very keen on educating himself after a life of difficulty doing so. The Office of Analysis and Science has requested an interview with the subject in the coming weeks. <laughs>